This is Win News. Tonight, Sunraysia enters television history with a switch to digital. A Mildura woman wins $17 million in Oslotto. And Australia's top riders gear up for the Hatter Enduro Desert Race. Good evening and welcome to this historic occasion as Sunraysia becomes the first region in Australia to switch to digital television. Hello, I'm Bruce Roberts. Well, the days of regional viewers having poor reception and limited channel choice are over. At nine o'clock this morning, the Federal Communications Minister Stephen Conroy was in Mildura to deliver the countdown to the new era of digital television, a day that has been a decade in the making. The minister was on deck of the Mundu to give the word to our very own Bob Kovac at Yatpool. The time has come. Bob Kovac, engineer, for Wind Television is standing by at Yatpool, ready to flick the switch. And with that, television history was made. Five, four, three, two, one, switch off. 45 years of analogue television is now at an end. Today, Mildura makes history again as it becomes the first region in Australia to make the switch to digital only television. It's a day sometimes we thought it would never come. In fact, we thought we may not live this long, <clears throat> but we're here. The digital rollout is now on in earnest around Australia. To give you some idea of the task that we were faced uh, in, in becoming digital, it takes a couple of dozen transmitters to bring glorious digital television signals to people in Melbourne and Sydney. For regional broadcasters, converting all the bits of Australia that are not in capital cities, it takes around 1,700. Sunraysia's neighbours, the next in line for the upgrade. We're very excited. Um, we're ready to move on now to South Australia where our job's not done. We're actually working on uh, regional Victoria and regional Queensland, getting them ready for switch off as I speak now. No one was happier with today's events than Merbeen resident David Harding. You get a bit more quality picture on the high, high definition, yes. There's one connection, you turn it on um, and it's ready to go. You just scan for your channels and you're digital. With new transmitters in Oyen, Underbull and Robinvale, viewers in Sunraysia and the Mallee now have a choice of 16 digital channels. Gemma Thomas, Win News. In this era of flat screen, set-top boxes and satellite signals, things have come a long way since the trusty Asta took pride of place in the living room corner. But it's been a momentous journey and reporter Tom Kelly takes a look back at some of those events that have shaped the region and its community. Good evening. It is November 1965 and Sanrazia residents are about to welcome a new friend into their lounge rooms for the very first time. Television has become a big part of life in Sunraysia, with a local station capturing landmarks and events over the past 45 years, from Mildura's Golden Jubilee and Royal Visit, to sporting events and everything that's mattered to the people of the time. Gary Bryant's father was a television enthusiast, and his family owned the first set in Mildura in the mid-1950s. Very snowy, of course, because we are getting it from Melbourne back then. Uh, but everybody's pretty excited. The lounge room was pretty full of people back then as well from all the people in the street. Such was the novelty of television at the time. People in the town would gather outside his parents' shop front to watch. They actually used to run a screen in the uh, front window and uh, people would come along at night and put their chairs in front and uh, watch television from there. Bob Kovac has been with Win Television for more than 40 years, starting out as a technical assistant shortly after STV8 opened. The biggest thing about TV, it brought the world into, into people. You know, I think about it, we didn't know that much before TV arrived. Suddenly we had an identity. Long gone are the days when cameras like these filmed live variety shows and sports panels. But a fully digital service means local content will continue to live on. A local channel, the most important thing it can do is it can bring that sense of community. Um, I know that I get very positive feedback still about the fact that we cover local sport in such depth. I think it's a real feather in the cap of Wind Television Mildura that we continue to send our cameras to football, to cricket, to basketball and to local sports. TV is a very important part of life. If you could just imagine if suddenly all the TV services are switched off, what people would miss out on. Tom Kelly, Win News. 
As we mentioned earlier, the Communications Minister was on the Murray this morning to herald in the new era of broadcasting. Reporter Gemma Thomas spoke to Stephen Conroy shortly after. Yes, Bruce, I'm here with Minister Conroy. Minister, you gave the signal today for the analogue signal to be turned off. Tell me, pretty exciting for Mildura and the rest of the country. Absolutely. This is historic. I mean, if you think we turned, we started the, the TV signals in the 50s and now uh, for Mildura to be leading Australia in the switch over to 100% digital is just a very historic and exciting thing. Even as late as a week ago, we had MPs calling for the delay of the digital switch. What can people do if they're seeing blank screens today? They can uh, give advice about the best way to reconnect, but we think that we've had a tremendous response from the people in the Mildura Sunraysia region uh, and that we're well past 95%. We still got some people who've said to us in our telephone surveys, no, no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, and for those, uh, when they suddenly discover that they, they haven't uh, got a television signal anymore, you'll be able to go in and purchase a set-top box for as cheap as $60 in retail stores nowadays. Sure, local news has been one of the uh, important issues for um, the digital switch. How can people on the satellite service access that news and when can they expect to come online? Well we've uh, the satellite is now broadcasting this fabulous new service with all the channels with your local news from Mildura so there'll be a whole range of people who've been on a, a previous satellite system where you've basically got news out of the Northern Territory and now for the first time when you install the set top box the special satellite set top box and put the dish on the roof you'll actually get local Mildura news for the first time so this is a very exciting development for people who've been in those outlying areas that they've never really got localised news before so it, it's very very exciting. I can't let you go without asking you about another big communication issue, uh, the NBN rollout. When is um, Sunraysia likely to see that happen here? Well the engineers are just working through at uh, NBN Co uh, and I'm expecting some very exciting announcements in the next few weeks about what the total footprint is. You'll be able to find out whether or not you're in the the 90% that's getting the fibre, whether you're in the wireless area or the satellite area. So we'll have a, some big announcements in the next couple of weeks on that. OK, well, there you go, Bruce. One very happy communications minister. The switch to digital has not only upgraded the pictures previously broadcast via the old analogue system, for some they can now get television via satellite for the very first time. Technicians have been busy in remote areas installing the new satellite receivers ahead of today's switch off. This little black box is taking television to places it's never been before. Connected to a satellite receiver, it delivers 16 clear digital channels into homes that have struggled to receive television at all. Uh, it's all going pretty well and most of the customers we have put on it are, um, well, they're pretty happy with it. The technology only became available in Australia in the last month and there's been a late rush from customers signing up to the service. It's still only early days but viewers are already rejoicing. You know, it's, it's a pretty good system they got up and going, which is it's a credit to them. And they've got all the channels that all capital cities have, um, have got, so it's, it's pretty exciting. And it's not just satellite receivers that are helping to deliver digital television into homes. Transmitters have also been installed in Oyun and Robinvale. And it's provided relief for viewers like Howard Crothers from Underball. In the past, he received an unreliable analogue signal from Mildura. It looked like it had used to get an electrical interference through it. Um, it'd get very snowy, uh, a bit crackly. He now receives the digital signal from Yatpool through the Oyun transmitter and onto Walpia. It's something I think uh, that the uh, Progress Group and the town have been battling for quite some time to get a good TV reception in the town, and uh, we finally achieved it. Adam Watherston, Win News. And coming up next on Win News, a lucky Mildura mother of two wins millions. And Oyen traders happy despite empty shop fronts.